welcome to this quick setup guide for students in Upbeat Music app. Upbeat Music is a fantastic application that is run through Google Chrome that enables students and teachers to work together to quickly create audio and video together collaboratively without using any editing software outside of it. So within just a few minutes, we can make a recording of a sort of section, get feedback, try to record again, and then have learning occurring that isn't available to us in any other environment currently. You're going to need two things before you begin recording in an upbeat music room. The first one is a login, which you're going to create by going to the website upbeatmusicapp.com and then logging in with a new account using your school's email and a password that you'll remember to go with it. The second thing you will need is a set of headphones attached to your computer. If you haven't already hooked up a set of headphones, what will happen while you're going to record is that your microphone will often pick up the sound of the backtrack or the metronome in your recording, causing your recording quality to be worse. If you have the option, try to select wired headphones over wireless or Bluetooth options. Once you have those two things set up, you're ready to click a link and start recording. Most likely you will receive an invite into an Upbeat Music Live room in chat from Teams or perhaps an email sent to you. So you won't have to log in directly through the portal on Google Chrome. You'll probably just go straight into the room from that link. However, if you do log in from the website, you will need the join room code. If you're starting as a host, you're going to head to the play.upbeatmusicapp.com website and then click this button, create room. Now, before you go into a room and begin working in Upbeat Music, it's worth going to Teams and closing that application down entirely or any other application that's high in memory usage on your computer. You also want to make sure that your video camera and your microphone aren't being used for any other purposes like a Teams meeting. Your teacher will likely close the meeting that you're in, but it's also worth closing the software to make sure that your computer is as clear and ready to perform as possible. And here I am now in the conference room for Upbeat Music Live. So my video is on and my audio is on. I'm able to chat with other participants live during this meeting so we can talk about what our goals are, set our rehearsal work that we're going to be doing for today, where we're starting, where we're ending, and then talking about any other sorts of things we're going to align in our recording. The other option that we have to communicate is the chat space. Now, the chat is over here in the bottom right. I can just click in, type, hello, everyone. And that message will stay there for the entirety that the room is open, including while I'm off recording. It's worth noting that if you are on a free account that you can join two rooms per week, resetting every Monday, that includes rooms that you start or ones that you join from a teacher or a coach or another peer who started it. Two rooms per week. If you are the host on a free account, those are limited to 30 minutes and can only use quick mode to do the recordings. If someone else with a more advanced account starts those meetings, they can set the parameters to be longer and to use one of the other modes that we're not going to cover in this video, including leader mode and backtrack mode. The first thing you can do once everyone's discussed what's going to happen in the room, or even right away if you're quick about it, is you're going to click the setup button at the bottom of the screen. This is going to calibrate your microphone with upbeat music so that the latency between you and the website is accounted for when you submit your recording later. Go ahead and click Get Started. You're going to see a quick preview video of yourself and a reminder that you're going to do some kind of eight beat rhythm, count in, performance, singing, some way of showing really clear rhythm. We found that clapping and snapping are the clearest thing you can show. So I'm going to go ahead and clap in eight counts and show you what that looks like. If I want to, I could check the video again, which we're going to be doing this later after we've recorded uh, one of our performances. I could redo it if my performance wasn't very accurate. I'll just go ahead and hit continue. Here's the first time that we see the calibration screen, which you're going to see each time that you try to submit a recording. This is to get your initial calibration set up as accurate as possible. So you can see the vertical lines and where they are tallest. We want to try to align with the white lines that represent the grid of the metronome. So if I can get those to be right on top or as close as possible without going ahead of it, let me click play and check out sounds. Uh, 
That's pretty good for a calibration, so I'll go ahead and hit done. And then it'll remind me that this is going to be safe for future performances. I'll go ahead and hit close. There are a number of ways to record while in an Upbeat Music Live room. The default mode is called Quick Mode. And that's where you are going to record for however long you'd like to with a metronome. The metronome is set with the settings up in the top right hand corner. Once a participant has begun recording, the tempo and the time signature cannot change until everyone has submitted or the reset option has been selected by all participants. This is because this metronome needs to be consistent for all participants so that the alignment of the end recordings can work. So before you begin and before anyone hits record, as always, communicate with your peers about what you're doing, for how long you're going to be playing, and at what speed you need to set the metronome for. Once you've made those adjustments to tempo and to the time as needed, you'll be able to click the record button and jump in and begin recording. To be very clear, you do not want to click this button, the record button, before you have spoken to the members of your group about your plan. Know how you're starting, how long you're playing for, if you're using a clap, and exactly how you're supposed to align your recording to the calibration before you submit so that the end product is what you're expecting. Otherwise, your recording process and the time of all the people in the room will be wasted. So here I am in a room now ready to go record, and I'm going to demonstrate one of the defaults that we're suggesting students use when doing quick rooms and going off to record. So we're going to click record and start the recording process. What I'm going to do is I'm going to clap on one at the end of the metronome click off, and then I'm going to begin playing after eight more counts or begin counting my rests after eight more count offs, depending on how I start. And it'll look something like this. And play. I'll have the stop record button. I can then check my recording. We'll assume that it's all good. I continue. Now I can see that I have a clear clap at the beginning that I can align at beat one, and because the group has decided to wait for the same amount of time, eight counts until we started playing, this beat will line up with the rest of my group without having to worry. This clap being aligned clearly on the first beat and then the beginning of the performance area, whether I'm rehearsing or um, recording the entire piece, wherever I've started, if I'm counting rests or playing on beat one, will happen here at the same point for every member of the ensemble. Hit done. And then I'm back into the room. Once all members have contributed, we can combine to a video together. So this is what it looks like when some of the members in your group are off recording. Their profile picture will be grayed out and there'll be a message indicating that they are off in their own room recording currently and cannot communicate with you on voice chat. Once they're finished redoing and are comfortable with their submission, they will hit done and return to the video conference. All members will have to finish this step before moving on to finalizing. And that should be it. You should be able to combine a video and click download to see something like you're seeing on screen. A combined video with audio of your group performance. At this point, it's time to give feedback and maybe do a reset and try again and see if you can improve or if you're happy with what your results are and it's worth doing so, you can download to keep a record of your work. If there's still problems at this point, it's time to blame yourself. If you've aligned things the way we've suggested, you need to perform the rhythms more accurately, or you need to work harder to get the alignment where it needs to be in the software. Best of luck and have fun with your time in Upbeat. Mm -hmm.